morning. I decided to come up here it's because there's a lot of noise happening there's a lot of environmental noise there's a freeway right behind me there's an airport right in front of me for us to be able to compare the difference in the microphone pickup so the audio that you're listening to right now is being captured with the Ceremonic V Mic Mini connected directly to the iPhone 11 Pro Max using the Lightning 2 3.5 millimeter adapter. And this is the audio of the built-in microphones on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. One thing to keep in mind is that the iPhone 11 Pro Max records at full stereo, so you should be able to hear left and right channels in your ears if you're using headphones. But when we switch over back to the Saramonic V-Mic Mini, it's more of a directional microphone, kind of like a little shotgun microphone. Now the Saramonic V-Mic Mini will set you back $59, and I think that's a fantastic price for a microphone that's slight, portable, and will level up your audio. If you have a phone that doesn't quite have as good of a microphone system and you want to create a vlogging setup like the one that I'm using right now, definitely it is a fantastic option another thing that i really like about this microphone system is the shock mount the shock mount and the overall built of the microphone is very sturdy it's not wobbly like other microphones out there so it gives me a little bit more security when i'm using it i trust it a little bit more because it's not like dancing all over the place so definitely something to consider when getting a brand new microphone so far so good now in this specific situation, I actually have the freeway literally to my right. You can kind of see it right behind me. And I want to use this opportunity to truly test the Ceremonic V-Mic Mini. This audio right here next to the freeway is being captured with the Ceremonic V-Mic Mini connected directly to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this is the built-in microphone on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you're using headphones, you're probably able to pick up a little bit more of a left and right stereo mix of what's going on with the environmental sound. But when we switch back to the Ceremonic V-Mic Mini, uh, you should be able to pick up my voice a little bit better, in theory. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Which one do you prefer? it with your smartphone for better audio for your videos if you're vlogging or just simply creating video and you would like a little bit more directional audio but you can also use it with SLRs you can grab that TRS cable to TRS cable and use it on a camera that has a microphone input and also level up the audio the one thing I was able to notice is that you do want to be as close as possible to your camera in this case I'm using the ultra wide lens on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and then on the Canon EOS R I'm using an 8 millimeter lens uh, with the 4k crop it kind of becomes a 16 millimeter ish more it's a little bit closer uh, so I don't get that uh, fisheye effect so to speak but the whole idea is for you to be as close as possible to the camera, that way the microphone can pick you up a little bit better. If I suddenly stand a little bit further out, then the microphone starts to kind of like spread out a little bit more, and then the audio might be jeopardized. So as close as possible as you can be to your camera, the better. And that's why I'm super excited for the ultra wide lenses on the iPhone 
or Android devices. And in this situation, when we have microphones, the closer we are to the microphone, the proximity effect is definitely gonna make your voice sound a little bit thicker, a little bit, you know, beefier, so to speak. Once again, if you stand a little bit further away, the spread of the microphone starts picking a lot of the environment. But if we're closer to the microphone, you're definitely gonna have a little bit better experience audio-wise. Now switching things over to the EOS R, and this is really cool because now we have the option to vlog not only with our smartphone, but also with our SLR. And once again, I'm using a Canon EOS R over here. This is an older Rokinon 8mm lens, but with the 4K crop that the camera has, uh, we're getting a little bit more of a closer kind of look similar to that wide angle vloggy style. But for audio comparison wise, this is the audio of the Ceramonic VMIC Mini connected to my Canon EOS R. And this is the audio of the built-in microphone on the Canon EOS R. Let's actually move a little bit closer to the freeway to see how that changes. All right, once again, freeway's right behind me. It's getting a little hot. I'm starting to break a sweat. But the audio that you're picking up right now is coming from the Ceramonic VMIC Mini plugged in directly to the Canon EOS R. And this is the audio coming in from the built-in microphone on the Canon EOS R. When we switch things back to the Ceramonic VMIC Mini, we should be getting a little bit better isolation with my voice, especially since I'm super close to the camera. If I was further away, the pickup pattern of the microphone becomes even wider. So if you're shooting with this microphone, you definitely wanna make sure you are shooting with a white lens or if you're shooting on a smartphone, try to use as much as you can the ultra wide option that way you can get as close as possible and improve the quality of your microphone. Now with all said, I think the Ceramonic VMic Mini is a fantastic microphone for the price. It's $59 if you're looking to level up the audio of your videos. Definitely a fantastic tool. But I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. Once again, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.